Three years ago, I measured my biological age with the DNA methylation clock. The results show that my epigenetic DNA methylation age was 16 compared to my actual chronological age, which was 25 at the time, which means based on this test, I was younger than 99% of people at that age. Now, three years have passed and it's 2023. I did a test again. In this video, I'm going to take a look at my results after three years. Do it. So the test I used was my DNA age which uses the DNA methylation age clock that uh, is based on the Horvath's clock. The Horvath's clock is considered currently like the gold standard of epigenetic age and DNA methylation age. And the DNA methylation age of blood can predict all cause mortality in later life. Studies on over 41,000 participants have found that each five year increase in DNA methylation age was associated with an 8 to 15% increased risk of mortality. I took the second test in April 2023, so it's been three years since the first test. And my results now still show that based on the methylation value of my sample, my DNA age is 16, which is the same as in the first test. But the difference is that my chronological age has increased by three years. So uh, basically over the course of the last three years, my DNA methylation age, which is slightly, I wouldn't consider it actual biological age. So my DNA methylation age has stayed the same. So it's still 16. Winning. And I'm still in the 99th percentile of my age, which means I'm younger than 99% of people at my age of 28. So from this graph, you can see the kind of progression or the differences. First test, January 24, 2020, around 16. And the second test, April 12, 2023, three years difference. And it's still 16. And I don't know, like based on this graph, it's actually just slightly lower than that. Uh, the first test was like 16.1, 16.2. And this one is like 15.8. But, but I guess it's still like uh, insignificant difference so 16 on both uh, tests and my chronological age has increased from 25 to uh, 28 I'm actually like 28 and a half so I'm almost 29 so based on this test my DNA age my DNA methylation age the aging rate is 0 0.56 which uh, yeah is like the 99th percentile of the speed of aging which means I'm um, every year every calendar year I'm actually aging only 0 0.5 uh, years so like half a year I'm not aging at least the DNA methylation age so it's again it's I don't I'm going to talk about later or like what's the difference between those things and uh, the DNA methylation age is only like one of the hallmarks of aging it's not going to tell you your like complete picture there's other factors as well that you need to con consider obviously which we'll talk about but uh, at least this one specific hallmark of aging I'm doing excellent and I'm a 99 percentile of people and I'm only aging at uh, like 0 0.5 uh, rate you son of a if you are interested in slowing down your biological age, then I'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock and increase their health span. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. <laughs> So does this test actually tell me my actual biological age? Well, it does tell you like a fraction of your biological age. And uh, I do think that it's worthwhile to consider that. It's worthwhile to pay attention to that. But uh, you have to yeah, still realize that this is only one of the hallmarks of aging. It's not going to tell you like your entire biological age. Of course, it's better to have it lower than your chronological age. It would mean that, yeah, you're heading in the right direction and you are improving. But even if it's slightly higher, it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, everything is wrong. Because the issue with these kinds of tests is also that they can be very uh, variable and they can be very sensitive to things like stress, inflammation and infection. So if you are sick, for example, then your age, your biological age will increase based on the test. And once you recover, it lowers down. So actually the same author, Horvath, Steve Horvath actually has done a study where they have shown that uh, the uh, biological age, the DNA methylation clock, the DNA methylation age does increase during stress and infection. So if you had the virus, or if you had something else, if you've just been the regular flu, the regular cold, then your age would probably increase. I didn't measure my age when I did get the virus. But the point is that whenever you are doing like any of these kind of tests, you need to yeah make sure that you haven't been sick, that you haven't uh, had any recent infection. And uh, a lot of the, let's say, the results that you see just reflect some aspects of, yeah, like your health status and your inflammation status. It doesn't really tell you like, you know, you're, you're still, I personally, I'm still 28 years old. It's just my body 
is uh, the inflammation levels, the DNA methylation patterns that test uh, measures, that is associated with an age of 16. Of course, I could still die to various diseases. I could still get chronic diseases based on like some genetic factors or whatever. But my health status is generally, yeah, much healthier, 99 percentile in the 99th percentile of uh, my population. Is this the only thing that matters? You take the test and it's going to pretty much predict your mortality? No. <laughs> There's, of course, other things that you need to consider. And I think that actually some of the other factors are more important than this test such as your blood work what is your blood sugar levels what is your hemoglobin a1c what is your lipid profile cholesterol triglycerides actually there are a lot more you know, like important in terms of predicting your mortality risk now of course if you have excellent blood work if you have good blood work then chances are your dna methylation age will also be much lower than your chronological age but if the dna methylation test tells you that you're much younger than your chronological age but you still have poor blood work you still have poor lipid profile you still have bad liver enzymes etc then i would much rather base my like presumptions and predictions on the blood work because the blood work is going to be more important so what i think is that you should always focus more on the like trying to improve your blood work and optimize the blood work and then taking a test can be like an additional like a benefit to know some dna methylation patterns as well but the blood work is first of all it's much cheaper it's more easily accessible you can do it like at your doctor you can get the results immediately the test this is what i did it takes like six to eight weeks to get the results so uh, the blood work is certainly much more important more convenient and cheaper other important factors for assessing your longevity are the parameters of physical performance so such as your gait speed your grip strength your overall body strength your vo2 max and muscle mass your body composition like if you are overweight then that's a certainly like a huge thing that accelerates your biological aging and at the same time it also is a bigger predictor of uh, mortality and getting different kinds of chronic diseases chill out overall i think that the dna methylation clock is certainly interesting it does tell you some interesting data but because it's so sensitive because it can change a lot if you have a recent infection if you had some stress or whatever you can easily skew the results and you can get a bad result when in reality you just need to recover from the stress and this is coming from me who got the result with uh, 12 years younger than my chronological age and I haven't like based on this taste I haven't aged biologically over the last three years I've stayed the same biological age which is a pretty remarkable achievement and even even me still I'm saying that you shouldn't like hyper focus on this uh, particular DNA methylation test but other than that thanks for watching this video make sure you click a like subscribe notification bell as well my name is Seem stay optimized stay empowered